check in on that later on. Presumably with Tangent Find, we'll see how that goes. Because if I were to assign you guys to, like this, to updaters, right? Now we got servers working periodically on the bugs and such, finding them. But we're not going to be actually doing the updates, I think. Let's take you off, let's leave it, we'll check back later on. It could be that the uh, automation leader needs just time for it to get settled. Drait soft? Yeah. Mm, 70 bucks per share. It's ordinary creativity, Carolyn Wolf. Uh, I almost want to, like, sacrifice my reputation to poach you just to force you to get somebody new. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Alright. Let some time flow by. Kill on time till May for tangent find. Although, because I'm pretty sure this isn't for MD Core, I would like to look into getting something for MD Core going just to see what your potential is. You're mostly 2D and 3D editors, so we'd be making like just another 2D editor. <laughs> Uh, or we just go ahead and jump you into, like, game design. You're terrible with it, so your creativity score is going to be not terribly well affected by it. But we could go for it still. Start by education. Azuranos is ready. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, with art? Uh, mm, er, no, pass on that. Oh, you're forgetful. That explains it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the marketers then. Night marketing. Mm, you've already got all three stars. You're the accountant. Accountant. Mark, yeah, you've already got... You guys are good. You, you don't really need education at all. We're going to pass on that. Because I am okay with it. Still working? Oh, you're at home, right? Ahem. <clears throat> well. Let's try it out. A sports game, maybe. I should probably just keep pounding out simulation, to be honest. Footcraft in heaven. Army Simulator Ultra. <laughs> Kingdom Tycoon Light. The gun manager. Dream gangs in heaven? Dream gangs in heaven. You think that competes with, like, baby tycoon in heaven? Life simulator ultra. Oh my god. Life simulator in heaven ultra. Because apparently games in heaven are like, oh my god. We're also going to call it life tycoon in heaven. There, so it's like Baby Tycoon in Heaven, but Ultra, and it's Life Tycoon. This sounds great. What are we lacking? Still probably, and yeah, just more of the same. And let's probably get our existing framework. Dude's game works going. Which, yeah, I think because this is our framework, we get to, like, kind of sort of adjust this stuff, and, like, this this upgrades along with, like, releases or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the tech levels work, because I still can't, like, go beyond, but... And I don't know. <laughs> Just re-enable the usual. We got, like, way too much story. We need more graphics. Man, 3D. I can't wait. I can't wait for 3D. Mm. Yeah, there's like not a whole lot we can do for graphics currently, really. The best we could do is go for dat open world, but we have to take out that mod support. And our story is wicked. Mm. Maybe take out the customizable character. And the advanced HUD. <laughs> uh... Um, put that back in. There, ninety-eight percent. It's a little bit of everything. I mean, eh. it is what it is, I guess. 
unknowingly story is being like kind of sort of focused, but eh. It is what it is. Powerscape sweet. Oh man, we could use tangent find when it releases though. Uh, but I'd like to like... I'd like to... I'd like to get going with this though. So we're just gonna get going with this. But hey, maybe next time. We can make the next game with tangent find. Ah, uh, yeah. Like the next like proper game. Cause this is gonna be another one that's like kinda sorta... Uh, because... Even if your inspiration was 100, your skill with games as a lead designer guy is nothing. It's terrible. So even if you're just the the best, coolest, awesomest person ever, it's not going to do you much good because you don't know game. Which means that at the very best, we're looking at 61 creativity. If your creativity happens to be a perfect 100, actually only 61 because of your game skill but that's okay this isn't something we have to work on for too long it'll take about a year and it's going to be giving us a little bit more uh well not work in the engine for open world but if we end up making a sequel to this for whatever reason then maybe we can throw in some open world for funsies customizable character in an open world with some post-processing that bloom dough because it's heaven yeah it works <laughs> And no publisher, God, please. Please no publisher. I don't, I don't wanna. I'm hoping when I release Tangent Find, they just like, zoop, they just like scoop it up and start working on that, but... Mm, don't know, because next release, none designing, nothing developing, nothing. They're working on getting the action points for design, developing, and marketing. That's what the leader is doing right now, but we're not technically doing any of that. It could even be that this is only for things that they work on and stuff. I don't know. I'd like to say that there's a way that it could have just like outsourced uh, proper support staff or something, but maybe that's not much of a thing. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we are getting income. We are actually getting income. The batteries are fully charged and we're making money off of the power that we're exporting. Fantastic. We're not getting any solar right now because it's nighttime, but the wind's keeping up and our power usage is like actually surprisingly low. Live tycoon in heaven working on its second iteration. I'm gonna give it like uh, the rest of today until it starts getting a bit slow with the whole development. The overnight come in and start working on it. Oh yeah, we don't have overnight anymore. Right, 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 I forgot. Hey, distribution deal. Or no, design deal. Oof. Oof. Uh, the baby manager. Hand it go simulator 2015. What is that? What is that? Virus remover 13 by uh, Greth Corp. Yeah, no, no thanks. We're gonna take off. We're gonna take off the... We're not really looking for deal work right now. We're we're quite okay with not. Okay, the system design is when it starts getting quite slow, so we're gonna move this up to develop now. And then marketing. Mm, November of this year, probably? Like... Should be a pretty quick one. It's it's not it's not that tremendous of a game. We'll even just give you like text and pictures, not video. And then of course queue up the hype for it too. The press release. We'll get done eventually. It's unavoidable unavoidable. These are only widespread now. Hmm, and Meteor Remodeler 2080 is not really making much money anymore. Dropped 6,000 marketing it for only 6,900 net. Oh, there we go. That sold a little bit more. Life Tycoon in Heaven Ultra has reached Alpha Stones. Yeah, it's... Oh, I don't care. I'd love to be able to filter messages, man. That'd be fantastic, because some of those, like, I just don't... 
Just don't care about. Nowhere for my courier to park. Oh, because the burglars probably park there. <laughs> okay. Burglars probably rolled up with their van to try to steal stuff. Courier's like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> What's going on with you? Oh, yeah, Mr. Tarvins, you, you got... You got the bug fixing to do as well, right? Uh, tangent find, we can start printing that. We'll go... I don't know. Uh, 10,000 maybe? It should be pretty okay, but... It doesn't have any followers and we're not known for it, so I'm gonna assume it's just kinda... a bit pooey. Until we market it and post? It was, I think Butters is leading that one, just because Butters was spinning at their chair getting a bit bored. So it's actually probably like tremendous software <laughs> then, because <laughs> Butters apparently has the golden finger or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> it checks the box that says, is lead, yes, no. And it's like, ooh, yeah, okay, hey. <laughs> I eat the one. If we take a look at you, you have tons of action points going up. Um, yeah, I just feel like this is set to just like you auto support the crud that you release and do, which is nothing. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. We'll release a press release there, why not? Hey, we saved 44,000 bucks in tax stuff. Nice. Large growth this month for Macroplast Inc. One really... Who's who's this? Mac, Macroplast Inc. We're getting a lot of new companies in. Uh, all companies. Macroplast? Very new. You were founded September last year. Skate Tricks Ultra Sports Game. Yeah, all right, you know games too. Lead designer Fidel Schmidt. 88% inspiring. It's about what I expect MD Core to be. Sold 315,000 units. Nothing. And then a ton. Marketing! All right, well, congratulations, I suppose. Jeez. Man. Like, almost tempted to invest in you? You think they're gonna do another Skate Tricks Ultra? You think I can buy it? I don't want to sell it. Should we invest in another game company a little bit? I mean, we got... We got kind of the money for it, but their shares are valued at 3,000 per, so it's gonna cost 400,000 just to get 2.7% of the company. <laughs> oh! I think we probably don't. I think we don't do that, because I already own stocks in Partware Digital. Ooh, we are making money on, actually. We're up 11.5%. We have a ton of shares. They're not worth very much per. <laughs> Come on, you guys. The Play Friend Connect. You got another play friend connect coming up, maybe. I would love to see it. Uh, what were you called? Partware Digital? Also, just keep an eye out for them, too. Play friend connect, too? That's the one. Partware Digital. December of this year. We could technically help them with it. The thing is, though, it's development. Development is like a cursed deal. I really... <laughs> I really feel like they give you poopily designed things and expect you just to, like, weave gold out of it somehow. Mm. I think we might have to, uh...
also put updaters on this. Maybe that, like, I don't know, flags it for them to do it. I don't know. Let's pause that. Get some updates rolling. Keep things alive a bit, you know. And do them one at a time for uh, the focused folks' sake. Because when they are focused, whew, does it go noticeably quicker. It's like having just an extra 50% of the team working on it suddenly. Really good. I guess I can assign updaters to this stuff as well. Like, maybe... They can they can help do tickets and stuff like that, right? Like that's that's fine. No, oh, whoops. There's also that. Assign that to the updaters too. So that's that. You're already queued for being updated. UI already updated. So this needs to be assigned. Same with you. You're already assigned as well. GTS twenty one thousand active users. Only three thousand in race tycoon. We can just about drop support for Media Remodeler and Race Tycoon. Just about. Just about. We're going to end the marketing campaign for Media Remodeler. It's no longer doing that great. GTS, I expect to climb fairly significantly in the near future. Here's an update for Media Remodeler, even though we've canceled support for it. Or no, we haven't. We've stopped me, uh, marketing it. Right, right, right. Really not like an option that I can set here, right? Otherwise, just, just fix bugs. Yeah, update cycle. Yeah. But don't hype, don't auto-develop. And yeah, you're the, yeah, I think this, I'm pretty sure this is like just for, just for the stuff that you guys are doing on the automated team, which, it's not what I want. I was really hoping it could just like, updates are just automatically done for me so I don't have to <laughs> click around all the time. Oops, I forgot to pause the one. Yeah, well. Alright. Ho-hum. I guess we minimize that and throw it up there and we see if next release none ever changes to anything. I don't know. May's coming up. It's about that time. Hey, let's release it now. Ta-da! Just heard of it now. Probably go for Power Edit to be honest. Are we supposed to know who Woods Krug is? <laughs> but hey, Butters knocked it out of the park. Well done, Butters. We'll give it a $10,000 budget. Don't order any copies and... See how that goes. It's going to be poopy at the start because, again, they don't know who we are. If they know who you are, it can like already start off at a, at a higher tier than... Uh, sparse. Takes a bit though. Grats on the potential designer skill. Uh, <laughs> there's no reason to educate you. <laughs> there's literally no reason to educate you at all whatsoever. But Piero Pastello though, however. Hey, hey. A little bit of art leveling. What do we need for art? A three-star 2D would be great. We don't have any of that yet. A three-star audio would obviously be cool. But three-star 2D, I don't think that did anything, right? There wasn't like a... Uh... Or was there? For game reverse Uno. Yeah, that's it though. And digital exclusive music is a third-star audio. And there are no three-star system things. I think we just focus on 3D graphics and just be capable of doing that. 
It should be noted as well, though, once 3D graphics becomes a thing, you still do need 2D graphics. It's going to be things like UI and all that, I think, logically. Um, still a thing. So don't just, like, fire off all of your 2D people and put them in for 3D. You could try, but you can't, uh, you can't uncheck 3D, though. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. And the marketers and all that, you don't really need the education at all, so... We'll leave it be. Oh, man. 2,800 active users for Race Tycoon and Media Remodeler. What a shame. I mean, it could be that there was just a bit of competition at the time. Could be the operating systems were just a bit and eh, when they were released and we never got the porting done in time. It's, it's a little bit rough knowing sometimes. Sometimes you can win really well, sometimes you can't. That's how it goes. There are a lot of factors and stuff to keep in mind. They're just helping with the support. The programmers down here not able to really do anything. I have a table here. You can have this table. It's fine. It's updaters. The canteen. You can eat there. There's room. You don't have to just stand outside and eat in the cold. It's 9 degrees C out there. It's, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this just isn't working. At all. It seems to just be like they're only doing their own support work. So, your building, then, that I made will have to be kind of sort of stripped down and converted into... I don't know. I can't... It's not quite big enough to be, like, a normal office. Because I wouldn't mind having a building that just, like, does automation for 2D tools or 3D tools or whatever, so every year we've got something fresh in-house that we've made. All the time eventually we're going to be going that route and with it in-house then the stuff that we've got like the tech levels that i may have put into it just like in an ideal world right you research the tech level and you unlock like 1989 tech level becomes available and unlocked we need a 2d tool to work with that tech level though and you make one of those 2d tools at that tech level but you keep it in-house so only you can use it not your competitors. So while they're still thinking about with the other tools that are on the market, which are probably a few years back, you've got something really cutting edge and very nice. So the kind of end game here is going to be having teams put together every year nice like 2D tools, 3D tools, audio tools, and then you've got your big main design hub for the software and your programming hub to create the software every year using their tools and you've got just like a bunch of designers and such working on stuff if you want to squeeze out a little bit more money you go for patenting that technology level it's a bit trickier patenting that stuff though because once you research research it like if i were to research uh, the 1989 2d it becomes available to everybody regardless anybody can try to patent it then for those royalties which 4.7-ish percent. Uh, 2D is usually pretty good for that. System seems to be quite okay, but a lot of AI goes for a system in my experience. Some of the worst ones is like hardware. AI generally kind of ignores it, though saying that, Mop Interactive and Electro Mouch Interactive seems to have gone for hardware back in 83 and 84, respectively, making a bit of money off of the patents. So, hey, there's that. It's not a lot of money. It's only a bit. I do have a save slash company where we've gone heavy into the research and patenting, and we are making literally 10 to $15 million every single month just sitting, collecting money off of other people's projects. Pretty nice. I enjoy it greatly. This, this building is a little disappointing over there. I mean, I guess I can keep them. Diana Sawyer is not necessary, then. 
but uh, it's just like a bit of support, a bit of programming. Like I could, uh, I would need to get like a couple designers in there and like, like a designer and artist and three programmers. And you can put together like kind of crappy and very slowly tools. I think I'd let that building just collect cobwebs for a bit, though, while we focus on other things. It's a bit unfortunate that the automated update thing doesn't really work out very well. I was really hoping that it could get that to be a thing. I don't think there's anything that I've missed here. Maybe I just take core off of the updates and I just have... <laughs> I just have the updaters team work on the updates then and they can just do it that way I guess the support staff doesn't have anything to do but wait what hold on there's already hold on cancel these 86 86 86 2D. Tangent Find, though? Alright. Wait, but Tangent Find is a... Okay. It is a 2D editor. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I would still need, like, artists to help out with 2D. Man, I don't know what I'm doing with that building, then. Man! So, yeah, two teams just, like, pound stuff out. Uh, got those sheep doesn't need it. GTS, we're doing... Race Tycoon, were you happy? 18 bucks. Okay. Yeah, jeez, man. Very. Nominated for award in two out of four categories. Two out of four categories. Oh my god. Tangent find. All right. Most profitable product? GTS, third place. All right. Tangent find. Man, Butters did that, right? Yeah, Butters designed that. All right, well, grats. Grats, Butters. How is this? You know, this is the best bro. I don't get I don't get it, Butters. Butters, do you know somebody like in the biz or something? What's going on with this? Uh it was best product, right? I think so. Pretty sure. I mean congrats, I guess. Jeez, and the most profitable product was uh GTS? Oops. Also, also butters. I don't, I don't think that's right. Um. <sighs> butters needs a second shelf. <laughs> but butters has too many rewards. Gonna need a bigger office. Oops. Right, don't burn yourself, all right? a little bit low on the ground, but you know, kick your shin against it. Ah, oh, what's this? Ah, oh, I'm tripping over success. It's kind of a kind of a nice metaphor. Yeah, it's Krug for Tension Fund. Best product. And then Mars Boy 5 and Grith Corp with Virus Mover 12. Okay. Most profitable. It's Krug for GTS. Virus Remover 11 and Foot Clan's Town. Strange year. Very strange year. I feel like most profitable is only winnable unless you're doing operating systems, if there are no operating systems. Otherwise, an operating system will absolutely beat you out on that. Hum. Let's pause some of that for Mr. Tarvin's sake. 